What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk and we are back with another video. And in here we're gonna touch on bringing in another machine, another computer. Let's say you have a PowerPoint presentation, uh, Google Slides, Keynote, whatever. Uh, you wanna bring that in as an additional video source into your live stream. Could be StreamYard, could be Ecamm. I'm gonna show you both, but we're gonna do that right after this. I'm Kirk Nugent, and I challenge everyday people to think holistically about their relationship to technology at home, for their families, and at work for career success. And in this video, we're gonna to touch on bringing in a laptop or video of some sort as a capture card, as a camera into your live stream. And let's dive into that right now. So right here, you're seeing my Pixel Book, and this is an adapter for that Pixel Book. Uh, has HDMI out on it and the USB-C, and that is what works on this Pixel Book. So HDMI, I'm gonna plug this adapter into my Pixel Book. I've got two of them, one on either side. One, I'm just showing you how this goes. So I'm plugging that in, plugging this HDMI cable up to it, and that shows on this other monitor. And so that monitor should come up here, right? There it is. So there's the other monitor. So I've got another adapter on the other side. Yep, here it is. And I've got an HDMI cable connected to it. And yes, I, I need better wire management in my office here. <laughs> Hopefully I can do that. So here the wires are going all over the place. And here you have the other end of that cable. And I'm going to plug up this video capture card. So here I'm plugging this video capture card in. And now that we have that plugged in, um, we have that going from the adapter of the pixel book into the capture card. So the last thing is to just plug it into uh, this little USB hub, which is connected to my iMac. Okay, now we're on my computer. I'm in live demo mode and you're seeing my entire screen. And um, one of the things I want you to see here is if I click on camera at the top, you're seeing that camera USB camera is the one I'm using now that's connected to my Sony a7 II. USB camera number two is what the was what we just connected from my Google Pixel book uh, as a second secondary source. So if you look here in the camera switcher, you're seeing already that this camera is available. So this camera is available. So what I'm going to do is hit the plus sign to bring both cameras on screen, the capture card that is bringing in my other laptop and the capture card that's bringing in the Sony S7 II and then do a picture in picture. So now you're seeing that this is the, the screen over there. I'm going to drag uh, a presentation that I have um, for a client. Actually, this is a, a studio recommendation uh, presentation. Uh, that I had for that client. Here we go. Making that full screen. So I'm just gonna click present on that. And yep, there it is. Studio recommendations for Mr. Don Daniels. And um, I can easily just click next and you can see that those slides are advancing um, the way that I intended them to advance uh, when he's looking at it. But of course, this is a, a great way to make your presentation with picture in picture. One of the things I wanted to show you real quick is that we can build out a scene if you if you have the if you've already created the frames. So I want to show you this really quickly. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is click this plus sign to create a new scene. So here we are, a new scene. It's neat. Scenes are created as blank. I'm going to take um, one of my files here. All right. This is my base file. I'm just going to drag that onto my overlays window. And when I drop it there, it gives me a background. So now I've got my background. And then I'm going to take my frames and drop that on there. I've designed these in Canva already. So here you've got uh, two different things. Now I'm going to grab a camera overlay doing this very quickly because we've already gone through some of these steps before in previous videos but i want you to see how simple and easy this can be i'm going to change this to custom um, so here we are custom push this over to here one of the things i love about canva is that you can design these things very quickly and easily 
and then with Ecamm, you have the ability to just pull them right in. And so, um, so now you see that that picture is my, my video is there inside of this frame. So now all I need to do is grab this USB camera and drop it below that frame window, that overlay that is transparent. So here, I'm going to turn off this overlay, right? I'm just going to click this eye icon and you can see that my video is there on top of the background by itself. I'm going to turn that back on. And so now you have that scene. What I'm going to do also is grab this video, grab, add another camera overlay. And here under the scene windows, it's set to my webcam and my webcam is on the top of the uh, monitor here. So that's a different, a different video altogether, which I could add to this scene. Um, I'm going to just select USB camera two, and you'll see that is the presentation. I'm not going to change this to custom because it's going to distort the, the view of the video on screen. I'm just going to move that there, move that there, slide this a little bit more up, pull this down some, and here we are now, boom, it's, it's moving. The last thing that you always want to do for your scenes, folks, is make sure you click these lock buttons. I cannot tell you how damaging it could be to not have that clicked. Um, be, and then, and of course, I always keep a, a, a comment in my overlays uh, showing all scenes section so that I can design that. And there's how that comment would come in if I was doing this live. And so that's how this scene looks. And so I'm going to actually switch back uh, out, switch out of, of, of live demo mode, uh, switch back to recording mode so that you can see full screen. Now, this is how a presentation can look, um, with me on screen. And what I've done is pulled in this presentation from a different machine, um, using a capture card. And so that machine is behind me. I'm using the keyboard from that machine right now, but what I would normally use is a clicker. I would plug in the remote, the base for that clicker into the laptop and I'd have that clicker here and I can do a, a really cool presentation with two screens. Um, of course, yes, it does require another laptop, but I have far more control over how that, uh, screen and how that presentation looks on screen when I do it this way. So I wanted to show that to you. Um, and we're, I'm going to move back to my, my, my main scene. This is where we had this, um, and, and, and go back to, uh, let's put that picture in picture back up and take that one off. So now we're back to our original scene. This is where we were to begin with. So that looks good. Now, how do we do this in StreamYard? Now, remember, we're already still in presentation mode. So what I'm going to do is, uh, bring up my desktop. Boom. There we're on the desktop. Here we are. And we're in, we're looking at StreamYard, enter the broadcast studio. Here we go. Um, um, I'm going to change this camera to my um, uh, webcam. And uh, just, just because I, I don't want to get anything confused. I want you to see me on the left side of the screen there. Mute this, enter the studio. So here we are, I'm going to change my brand. I was not prepared to do this. You can see that I've got several brands here. So here's my How It All Works brand. I'm going to add myself to the screen. There I am, okay. Don't usually record with the door open, but it's a really cool Thanksgiving day. So I'm gonna, I, I do have my door open here today. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is in another tab, go back to StreamYard. Open up StreamYard again. I've shown this in other videos before. If you have multiple cameras connected to the same system, you can bring them into the same room. All you got to do is open up another tab, right? And go into the same studio. So this is test room. That's what I went into a second ago. So I'm clicking enter broadcast studio to go into the test room. Here we go. So I'm going into the, this test room broadcast studio in StreamYard. Now here I'm, it's showing me my HP, uh, uh, my, my webcam, C9, Logitech C920. I don't know why I keep on saying HP. I'm going to select USB camera two. Look what's on screen. It's the same presentation. And I just click next to show the next slide. I'm clicking, uh, clicking off here. That's looks, that looks good. Enter broadcast studio. So here we go. We're now in the studio. I am going to go back to my main tab, the tab that has me on it. Um, on this tab, all I need to do, and you're seeing some lag there, but that's because my machine is choking. Um, but on this tab, all I need to do is click mute. So I'm back on my main tab and I'm going to add this thing to the stream. So here 
I am able to bring them in together side by side and click next on my slides. So I am seen in one window. The, the, the screen is seen in another window. This is just an additional way of doing this. Now I know that in StreamYard it is easy to share your screen. So no need for two systems to do that. But um, in the instances where you have multiple people on screen and you don't want to use these other uh, uh, layouts for StreamYard, you want to bring in that other thing as, as, one, of the, as one of the guests, um, then this is one of the ways you can do it. And look, you can still use this option and then just slide this over to here. And then your speaker, did I do that right? I didn't think I did. Then your speaker is on the right side of the screen where and your your slides are on the left side of the screen. Whereas if you do that the other way around, if you share it from the machine that you're on in StreamYard, it will show on a flipped. It will show your presentation on the right side of the screen and show the speaker in a small box on the left side of the screen. So this is just a flip view of what you would normally see. But again, I'm using two totally different uh, computers for this and using a capture card and um, able to really do something really cool. Um, and yeah, uh, gives me gives me a, a nice look. And I hope that that was helpful for you. There you have it. <laughs> I mean, you're seeing the entire thing, right? Walk you through the entire steps, plugging it up to my laptop, plugging up an HDMI cable to my laptop which is a Google, uh, pixel book, Google pixel book, plugging that uh, HDMI cable into a capture card and that capture card into my Mac mini, and then bringing that video into both Ecamm and StreamYard as an additional guest, um, but being able to manipulate the screen so that I can show that video, video uh, as a presentation in both of those platforms. Uh, this is one way of doing it. And because the capture card is so cheap, I'm going to put that link in the description right underneath this video. Um, you can buy a two pack for, for relatively inexpensive under 40 bucks. So it, it becomes a, an, an easy solution to be able to bring these things into your live stream without having to do all the gymnastics of actually sharing a screen. And what I like about it is that it's a little bit easier in that you can control it like you control another video guest. Uh, so you have all those abilities. I hope this was useful, useful for you. I hope that um, you're having a great Thanksgiving holiday season. This is our Thanksgiving edition of How It All Works dropping this. I'm literally recording this while the bird is in the oven downstairs. Um, I'm, I'm really glad uh, that we've been able to engage with one another in this community that we're building called How It All Works. And I'm hoping that you will take the journey with us. If you're new here, smash that like button. Please subscribe because that allows us to do different things here. We have so many different goals. You've already assisted us in reaching our first goal, which is 1000 subscribers. We're well past that now, but we're trying to get our watch hours up to get over that 4,000 mark. So please assist us. Just put up a tab in Google Chrome, go to the howitallworks.com page, click play on the playlist and just allow that thing to play in the background. Mute it if you want to, because it will enable us to get our watch hours up and get us to the next level. And then we'll tell you guys what our next goals are after that. We've got some other stuff coming pretty soon. Excited to share that with you, but all in all, the goal of, of, of this channel, the goal of this space and this community that we're creating is to help you be better at live streaming, be better with your technology, be better with your media, and that you can put your best foot forward because at the end of the day, it's about your content. It's about your message. It's about the community that you wanna build that you are uniquely designed to lead. And so that's what we want to enable here. Several things are going to be rolling out in the new year, and we're excited about those, but we're also extremely excited about you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for engaging with us. And again, we hope that somewhere in the video, you were able to put some of the puzzle pieces together and have that aha moment. And you were able to figure out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah.